Yes. 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 I want to do some brief introduction, sir. Yes. Yes. Any introduction? Oh, yes, Thank you very much, sir. We are, we are glad to have you, <clears throat> and we've been partners since the inception of uh, uh, the association in 2018, and we are glad to see have you with us this time around. And I want to appreciate the tremendous contribution of yourself, Professor. Okay. Uh oh, we lost your audio. This year, Professor Usna, and uh, we. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. It looked like we connect are connection. looking at base for the conference. Okay. <laughs> but all other participants that are joining virtually, they are all over. So they, some of them have been connected and many will still be connected. Okay. Okay. All righty. I, I think you <clears throat> yeah. are here to how to have a spirit of 21st century that make us to compete favorably in the area of using ICT to foster teaching and learning. So you are welcome on board, sir. And we are Thank ready you. to learn so much. And draw experience at Lila Central University. Thank you. I appreciate you are it. Welcome on board. Professor Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you can hear us, raise your hand. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yes, Let's we raise can. Your hand. Raise your hand if you can hear us. Okay, good. All right. Well, I want to say we are so glad to have this opportunity again you, to, to join each other, and I, I'm so excited. We are we are excited to bring this dialogue going on. So this uh, presentation about dialogue, and which we need to start, which you can continue after we even after the, this conference. Uh, which will lead to publication and research. So, so uh, just pay, to pay as much attention you can, and we'll, we'll have a couple, a few minutes at the end to uh, question and answers. And I know uh, technology. Oh, please please let all of us so that we can unmute ourselves. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 All right. Okay. I want to present my colleague, my mentee, mentor. We we grown together, Dr. James Osler, the <laughs> second, and uh, you know who we mentor, uh, Joshua together, and, and the other people. So uh, let's get started, Osler. All right, I'm going to share my screen right now. Mm -hmm. Our Dimitri. Mm -hmm. You can share your screen. Yeah. Okay, are you still admitting them? Yes, I am. All right. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, thank, you, our, thank you. This is our presentation to ABRBAP, uh, the third annual forum 2021 by my esteemed colleague, my mentor, awesome uh, master senior professor, Dr. Philip Matissia, and myself, and I am James Osler. We're full professors at North Carolina Central University in the US in the state of North Carolina. I'm very, very excited. This is my second year presenting to ABREAP uh, from last year, the second annual forum. And we are very excited to talk about continuing the continuity of what we did last year and update you on some things this year and talk about critical consciousness dialogue. I will start this presentation by uh, just very quickly going over what we did last year and then updating you with some information that will set up everything for Dr. Maticia and he will take over from there. All righty. We start with two main modes of thought. And the first thought comes from the esteemed professor, scholar from Brazil, Paulo Freire, who made the statement, as you see on screen, all education is with a purpose. And that purpose can only be political. 
For we either educate to liberate or we educate to dominate. 1994. We follow that up with an esteemed colleague, great friend of Dr. Muticia, Dr. Jane Bella, who stated the following statement. The means to education is dialogue. The end is learning. The purpose is peace. The means to education is dialogue. The end is learning. The purpose is peace. Let us begin with our opening thought. So when we begin to structure our opening thought and talking about research acumen and in light of what Paulo Freire and Dr. Vela said, we make this posit the opening statement. Technology is the 21st century means. It is the way we get things done efficiently for the well-being of all. Then one may ask exactly what is the technology of research? The constant insistent technology of research is that it is an applied science of trialogue, an applied science of trialogue, which is the trichotomous combination of the following three ideas. And those ideas are listening, sharing, collaborative effort to learn and build together. A trialogue is derived from the term dialogue and it is the portmanteau of the combination mm -hmm. psychotomy and dialogue. Those three mm -hmm. ideas to move forward thought in the technology of research. We'll end our opening thought by stating from our uh, esteemed learner Jim Cummings who said in 2006, in an organization, both insider and outsider perspectives are essential for understanding situations and relationships. And he defines a dialogue. Excuse me, hold on a second. Purple. Uh, Mary, uh, please mute, your, okay. mute, your phone. mute yourself, Mary, please. Okay. Thank you, thank you. All righty, so he says this in terms of dialogue, which we defined <laughs> in the trialogue. He says the following. Mm -hmm. He says that dialogue as a unique technology that brings together what is seen from the outside and what is felt from the inside that is necessary to articulate understandings. So that is encapsulated by saying thus theory expresses the ongoing search for understanding. Therefore, theory itself is always dialogical or for our example here is trialogical. Such an effort in families, schools, and government offices, and shops, and in industries has been known to create a culture of peace. And that goes back to what Jane Bella was saying at the very beginning. Therefore, we posit that a tri true trialogue is listening, sharing, and collaborating together to contribute for the well being of all. And that's what we're doing today. We're doing it virtually during the pandemic, but we're actually doing a trialogue. You're listening, we're sharing, and we're going to collaborate together to contribute to the well being of all. So part two of what I'm going to say is very quickly, I'm going to go over what we discussed back in 2020 and the second annual forum of ABRPAP. And what we did then was we did a presentation explaining the data analysis and hypothesis testing methodology of trials, the trial statistic tri-squared test. So very quickly, I'm going to go through this very rapidly because I want to get to uh, Dr. Nemita what we're talking about is our research Maticia is going to explain that will help build research through cow and critical dialogue. And so what we did in 2020 was we explained uh, the science of thinking of trichotomy and we call that triology. And that is the combination of trichotomous analogy, thinking in threes and the science of that. Then we talked about our field, which is trial statistics, which uses the tri-squared test as its framework to aid us in building entrepreneurial psychometric instruments for entrepreneurial and entrepreneurial ecology of innovation in research and discovery. Then we really jump down to the combination of triology, the science of thinking in three, trial statistics, the measurement of thinking in three, and explaining the logic of that. And we refer to that as trial logic. Then we look at how this works universally. So if we look subatomically at an atom, we know that an atom is composed of a negative, a positive, and a neutral. And those pieces coming together create, are created by the positive particle of the proton, the neutron, which is the neutral particle, and the electron, the negative particle. 
but the three of them coming together in a unique structure thereby create an atom. The atom we know is a subatomic particle that is the basis scientifically of all the structure overplayed again and again and again throughout the structure of the brain, throughout the nature, and so we model that in our research. We refer to that modeling and that methodology of thinking in three as trial engineering. And we wrap that up by talking about where we've been, some of the awards we've received. We gave a Google Drive folder that gave information on the tri square test and some links. All right, so let's wrap things up to where we are today. We are caught in a global pandemic. We were invited in 2020, September 15th, to do a keynote address in which the places in which we published, our manager actually asked us to talk about the social political ecology that was going on worldwide. And so we took that through our lens of trial statistics, triology, and trial engineering, and we created a presentation. That presentation was called Visualizing the Historic Impact of Systemic Cycles of Manifest Expression. Okay. Somebody, Somebody need to mute, mute, mute your phone. Go ahead. And so this was under the hub title of Modeling Social Problems of Unrest in the Social Political Ecology. We had to deal with what's going on right now with the pandemic, what it was doing to our institutions and what it had uncovered. And we began to see globally that social unrest was a large part of what was going on. And when we looked at this honestly, through the lens of research, we saw that COVID is not just a physical disease, it's also a social and a psychosocial disease. And so we use this as the platform to talk about what was going on globally. We gave four salient points, the reality, the models, the history, and the conclusion. And we're gonna go rapidly to this to move into Dr. Matissia's presentation. What's the reality? Well, the bottom line is this. What the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us and revealed as a result of what has been witnessed, global social unrest during COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic, has uncovered widespread social, social inequity that is strengthened by a massive model of the ongoing institution of, drum roll, racism. What we have already known that has been prevailing has now been uncovered and revealed. Now, how do we as research scientists look at that? Well, we got to look at some history. We got to look at some models. All right. And so our models that we look at we went back to our research, which is why they invited me to do the keynote. And in our research, we found one particular area, and there are nine different cases. But the main one, the main one was this one right here. And that is that fifth one. And that fifth one is triangular equation modeling. Yeah, you did. Come. So, what is triangular equation modeling? Well, we use upright right triangle geometrically to look at cyclical cycles that are repeated throughout nature. Uh, we notice in our subatomic atom, it's that same structure. So then what was the problem? Well, we talked about the problem. And the problem is COVID-19 is not just a physical disease. It's a psychosocial and social disease that impacts racism and its outcomes, hatred, violence, harassment, marginalization, discrimination, destruction, bigotry, bigotry, brutality, unscrupulousness, and injustice. The whole world is on fire from racism. You all saw it internationally with what happened in our own capital on January 6th. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. Where these folks invaded the hallmark of democracy on the Capitol. So COVID has just uncovered what is going on. And as we stated, it's a global problem. So when we took our trial engineering and we took our triangle equation model and we put this inside the model, what we found was the following. We have systemic racism, we have structural racism, and we have seismic racism affecting the entire globe, which is the holistic idea of thought. How do we classically define these areas? What did they really, really mean? They meant the following. 
Systemic racism says that racism as a social and psychosocial disease is a part of a system, a mechanism of interconnecting networks. It says that structural racism as a social and psychosocial disease is an oppressive predefined arrangement that allows it to exist. It says seismic racism, like an earthquake, says it has massive impact. And because of that, we're able to redefine COVID from a social psychosocial perspective as the following acronym. COVID means cyclical oppression and victimization that impacts diversity. All right? Cyclical oppression and victimization that impacts diversity. Cyclical oppression and victimization that impacts diversity. We're all victims. And so we go back and then we looked at a model. We looked at the United States. We're gonna talk about where we were in our own cultural ethos and ecology and what's going on. And so when we look at our triangle equation model, we see that it's a cognitive problem, it's an affective problem, and it's a psychomotor problem. It's mental, it, evo it, it evokes problems in the heart and the emotions and in the hands and in the outcomes, the physical outcomes. And what are those outcomes? Cognitively is prejudice, effectively is hatred, and psychomotorly is brutality. And so we further broke this down and we began to look at this. Now, instead of the globe, we have the United States put in the lens. And we say the cognitive, effective, and psychomotor outcomes of this can be seen historically in some things that have happened in the United States. We all know that if you do not deal with a disease, it will return and it will mutate over time. A virus will mutate over time. And so we gave three historic dates as examples of what happened in the United States. COVID-1619, in which they created the institution of chattel slavery and extracted us from our people that I'm talking to today over on the continent, COVID-1877, where they created the Jim Crow laws through the United States Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, and said the separate and unequal is all right, and created things like the Ku Klux Klan and systematic areas pulling out the US military and allowing people who are not of color to kill, hang, and lynch folks. And then it mutated further in COVID 2020, where we see what happened in the Capitol and systemic brutality in the United States. And so when we looked at these lenses and we define these areas, then nobody in the United States can hide. The government can't hide. These are the things that are going on. And so once we actually talked about these areas and digested all of this, we came to the conclusion that prejudice impacted by racism and ignorance is an ongoing cycle that has been brought about and pulled about and surfaced through COVID, which again is cyclical oppression that directly impacts, is victimization that directly impacts ourselves as a diverse people. So we wrapped everything up with the final conclusion and that conclusion stated that now we know what the problem is, how do we handle it? Well, we came up with an, an answer and that answer, again, using our triangular equation model was this. If we're gonna heal through systemic racism, we have to have a trialogue, a dialogue. Dr. Matissi is gonna guide you through that. Next was structural racism to break down these structures. We need professional development and training. And then for seismic racism that is impacted throughout the globe and especially here in the States, we need planned restorative justice and economic development. In the States, they had said that there would be restitution for the children and, and the persons who had suffered through slavery that was supposed to be 40 acres in a mule. That was way, way back before 1877 at the end of the Civil War in the United States in 1865. It never happened. Just this past year in North Carolina, only one area in Appalachia talked about the restorative justice of putting those principles in place and beginning to, to impact uh, economics. And so that wraps up the presentation we did at BCM. And now we will turn it over to our esteemed doc colleague, Dr. Maticia, to talk about building the cultural ethos and the structure using conscientizer cow and other thought processes for research. Dr. Maticia. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Osla. That's uh, awesome and uh, very uh, compelling. And uh, I hope everybody has been tuning. And uh, also we can appreciate 
the, the, the effect, effects of the technology. Uh, for example, I ask if you are not speaking, mute yourself. So we don't have the interruption with the presentation uh, in, because we are recording it. I, I want to let everybody know that. So we will send you the recording so people who are participating can view because you will need the, uh, to understand when you, because we're gonna uh, collect data, ask you to collect data at the end whereby you can get together in another form and to put together as analysis to write the pub, uh, publication out of here, out of this presentation. And so I hope you are paying attention and taking notes. So I need you to have a, paper, a pencil or pen handy, or you can type in somewhere. So, because at the end, we will we'll have some, some things to reflect on. The importance of what uh, uh, Osler just created is how to really, construct and create design theoretical way of, of, of studying and engaging, reflecting in action, whereby you provide an analysis and given that we are talking about the pandemic, impact of pandemic. So most of the time, researchers, we tend to study things which are away from, far from us, from abstract, but this, our presentation, uh, ho hopefully takeaway will be it's that we have a, 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 a now a theoretical conceptual framework whereby you can follow to design a research whereby you you you, you study and analyze the, the, the problems and of, of good things and bad things not just pathology but mostly patho I mean, you know, things are, which build us to sustain our lives uh, which which is uh, uh, shows the power of research um, the, the prevailing notion that power uh, empowers research uh, is because we have to study our unit of analysis is the culture, and because it, which shapes our worldview, because it is through the cult the culture lens the, how we see the world. So remember, uh, if when you are from kindergarten to whatever you went to, all the way to college. Uh, I just let, remember whether, whether you have been asked, who are you? That, because that's what is critical in any society in humanity. Culture, the way we study culture, the way we are brought to this world, how we are socialized is th through the, 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 the lens of our, our forefathers and the present and also to see the future. So an analysis of our reflection of what we experience is what produces the actual applied research as, as, as Osler uh, pointed out. We go next one. So in order to go, next, next slide. So forming a research conceptual framework, it requires a intentional a way of uh, you know, conceptualizing by uh, having, uh, knowing or valuing what you're doing. And it not is self-reflection and action. The, then, then you conceptualize and, and apply. Uh, it, the Richards, uh, Richardson, uh, Richard talk, tells us that a successful intercultural communication and interaction does not usually occur by chance. You cannot just talk about things and expect that, you know, be, be something. Rather, it is the result of exchanges. Once we exchange the dialogue, through the dialogue, he has defined it. Uh, and the behavior on the part of the persons who not only desire favorable, not, not just to, uh, uh, you, 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 you engage in research to look at what is, what is meaningful, favorable results, but have the skills and the, you have a, a necessary skills uh, for generating and supporting positive outcomes, right? The crisis we have. We don't want to just uh, study the problem. We to study what is what are the strategies which uh, which give us skills uh, to cope and, and, and of course to share. So a conceptual framework is very important. It, it is because it's a cons consciously organized arrangements of the related information that because we are aware of them influence our actions. Okay. So this discussion we have. We are reflecting on the COVID-19 over a year, and we need to, to, to uh, this, you need to, to take away the fact that you have understood how to engage in studying the problem we are facing now and how you unpack it. 
So the degree to which we understand our own frameworks, because you have to have our own, if everything is always individual, then it goes with generalization to group. And the frameworks of others is often the degree to which we achieve an unthreatened uh, and a successful human interaction. So when you are talking about COVID, are we talking about the, 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 the issues you can control or the issues you can't control? The, so look at, if you can develop a construct to study the hysteria as part of the construct, to, how did the hysteria uh, and also the, the fear, which leads to also as, as isolation, the, the, the violence, you don't go to study other people, you study from yourself and your immediate people. So understanding and defining philosophical cultural differences is very, very critical. Uh, and uh, Next slide, please. Uh, if you look at this, we, we rarely do this. We, we always react to the European or, or colonialism, post-colonialism. Post -colonialism. We never diagnose, diagnose or uh, engage in dialogue from within to see where are our problems coming from? And then this, uh, this is a good model. We cannot exhaust it today. I just wanted to, to show you uh, there are ways to study how to conceptualize the, the world and, and, and to measure how you interact with the world and where you're headed. For example, if the, the first role, uh, the, uh, of course, when we talk about philosophy, we talk about the values how we create our values, what we most value. With, with the top group, we're looking at axiology, uh, which I call it philosophy value, uh, and epistemology, how we learn about it, and logic, how we, 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 process, we, we, uh, we see it. Is it, is it either all or uh, is it uh, there's other ways? We talked about trialogue. I want you to, to see where trialogue fits, which group uh, fits trialogue. And here it says us, uh, process, how we process information and apply, it, it, you, have to re, you have to be repeatable, which is what the, the, in the science say. But when you, go, when you deal with psychometrics, you have to consider all the different cultural uh, perspective and how we, and in a context of the environment and culture. Uh, the next group, the highest, of course, the first group that, that has a value it lies in the object or in the acquisition of things. If you look at that, it's a, a Nigerian society or African society, we find that the way people uh, value, they're different from European, which we have been imposed to, to, to think about as European, mat mat cherishing material things. Not the, the highest value, the next level, which is Africans belong in the next second, the middle one, whereby they see the value lies in interpersonal relationship. And they, the effective way of knowing is that, it, it's, it's that one knows through symbolic imagery. See cultural symbols, that the people present themselves, the elders, the, even the children, the gifted one, the griots and so forth. So a researcher has, a, has, he has to, he has to ma ma uh, analyze how we communicate and uh, see where we have, a, where the gaps are. The union of the opposite, we don't, it's not either or is either or end, which is trialogue, really. And that's why diaspora, conceptualizing diaspora is from Africa to the rest of the world and back to Africa. We have to look at it from trialogical approach, approach not dialogical or dichotomous. We have to, be, to look at it from trichotomous approach, but where all sets are interrelated through human and spiritual network. The, the lowest one, uh, the last one is highest value lies in the cohesion of a group is there is mostly Asians fall under that. Now, when, I, when you look at the cross and you will see how the globe, globe of, in, of the world is interacting and it's mixed of, both, of all three uh, areas of, uh, of, of knowing or philosophical cultural differences. But if as a, as a scholar, as a researcher, it's our job to, to help to, uh, to translate and then apply the logic, and then you, are, uh, you, are, you, are, you assume the better, because the issue is to, bet, do, to do better, to bring effective and to, to, to do research to improve, not to prove. Uh, however, either all logic, persuasion, European, and the way it just- the, 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 the way they, 
the way they uh, the 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 uh, the, the way they uh, they divided us in the locations and the, in the, not even in languages and so forth it is very divisive and then the same way here the way racism has impacted the rest of the world because we have adapted to the way, either all uh, logic of viewing the world and the, you have to prove yourself as opposed to uh, at, uh, relating with one another and uh, creating synergy and uh, uh, supportive, like Ubuntu philosophy, for example, you are because I am, uh, then, then it, it, since you are, uh, therefore we are. And so it's no longer looking at you or the other, um, me or you, it's, it's me, you, and he or she together. And we can talk about that later. Next slide, please. So problems that disable research efficacy uh, is next one is what Kruger and Denning uh, uh, suggested. And, and, the, and, and the, he says uh, across many intellectual and social domain, it is the poorest performance, performers who hold the least accurate assessment of their skill and performances grossly overestimating how well their performances stack up against those of their peers. They're, these are the performance who not only perform poorly, but who believe they perform well, or put another way, clueless yet confident. Now, confident me, I mean, now look at the education system in Africa, in all institutions in Africa. The, the testing is almost 70% of the way they, they, we teach. But you need in, a, in, in understanding that using dialogue technology, performance is the majority, which is competency and the project-based learning, which it becomes even the research. You do not want to just hear collect uh, statistics, but they do not break it down to action whereby you can, you can lead to solution. So if psychometrics, the way you design it is to test pathology or test things you have not taught. And that's where the changes, you know, now we are looking at it from diaspora and now we interact with the diaspora like right now, we, before we could not communicate like this. So if we had another time, we could do another hour to analyze what we discussed today. But since it's this a, a starting way, uh, the third conference we are, we want to keep on building this. So, in, so you can start engaging in a dialogue format to, of, of format to, to inform research and the teaching and translation and generalization. So uh, next, what is conscient as a cow? Next. Uh, I was glad. I was. I was lucky to have an uh, opportunity to interact with the uh, Paulo Freire, who wrote the the, the book. I, I recommend 1994 edition, the Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Please read that. That's a classic. It, I know. Actually, it 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 it, it lit the world. It literalized the world, but it's least uh, used because it, it transforms people and it's a radicalizing change of thinking. So defining conscience as a cow, uh, the first level of model involves conceptual discussion, like we, we, have, we talked, the framing the, and the reframing the, what our dialogue, uh, uh, then forming a, a framework of our foundation of character and uh, education. Looking, first of all, we did not put it in here, but we also uh, use the seven principles or pillars of character. One is transparency, which is uh, needed in Africa so much, which co corruption is because no transparency. To, uh, to, uh, uh, trust, respect, re uh, re uh, uh, and, and the, uh, the, the, the other one is uh, uh, responsibility, taking responsibility, being accountable for what you are doing and what you are talking to, telling people. And then uh, uh, fairness is uh, how you ethics, Ethos, using our ethos, how to, to, to bring trust in it. And then caring, because if there is no empathy in what you're doing in research, it does not bring solution, positive 
you know, aspiration, inspiration, aspiration. That ah, no. And then we have also uh, the, uh, the, the other one is uh, uh, the uh, civic education, which is, care, uh, which is kind of citizenry, okay? So in this case, conscientious as a car is a, press, a process, an approach designed to engage participants, participants to in, develop a level of consciousness uh, 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 that enables them to see social system critically. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We will. We will. We will send you the 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 the, the PowerPoint. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, just just next next uh, next one next one next one next slide. Next slide, Osla. Uh oh, next slide, Osla. It's there. Okay, that's that. So participants are able to participate and understand the contradictions. This is what we we hope that you you as participants today will will start developing that ability and the capacity to uh, understand the contradictions. Daily contradictions that affect your lives it, and arising from educational, economic, social, political forces, and it will be, will, you'll be able to generalize those contradictions to others around you. Uh, the outcome of the training process is heightened. It's, it's, it's outcome is heightened awareness that leads to self-awareness, self-assessment, self-reflection, and then you take appropriate action. We, by by to, once we become aware of developing competencies and knowledge, skills, and the dispositions, uh, uh, disposition uh, for effective cultural responsive facilitation in a diverse cultural context. For example, the crisis we have in the Nigeria today education system. Okay. We should okay. be able to, and then with this with this organization, uh, I think you mentoring should be mentoring down to. Uh, to, 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 from primary to college by engaging uh, them to be, they raise the consciousness, solutions of their, everybody in society, they lie within their hands and their, of course, your head. So you, you learn to know yourself, who am I? But when we, we, we look at the, the way we are taught literature, uh, you see people like Chinua Achebe, no longer these, no that. That's that's literature. It's not even values. It's 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 not. And we tend to uh, impugn uh, research from our our education system. Then we look at to to overseas, the Western. Then when, when we come to Western, we 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 meet the the impact which uh, uh, Dr. Osler just described. The the hatred. The 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 the, the Balance the conflict in thinking. So, uh, you use conscient as a car process to develop interventions uh, uh, strategies, uh, which are developed through collaboration. We, we talked about collaborative trialogue. Remember, approach before the programs activities are implemented as the as as techniques in infusing the strategies in curriculum that are rewarded and linked to teaching, research, scholarship. And the service and service learning, which is Africans are natural entrepreneurs, and they are usually service learning community, communal, communal uh, collectivity, collective commun commun communalism, which is com confused from the communism, which is not or socialism. That's not the same. If you look at our model and ethos and how we uh, our education uh, thr thrives, you find it goes against. Our, because we, we're using European mindset to create African mindset, it doesn't work. So we uh, we propose a model called communiversity, community and the un community, unity and university, universal. So it, it's a conceptual framework to incorporate the process of education, uh, where, where, where how we, when we approach research from a tri trichotomous, not from dichotomous, from trichotomous uh, perspective. And then uh, we, of course, it leads to self-development, learning development, institutional development, and the professional development with a final outcome being empowerment of individuals and the society as a whole. Now, I want to emphasize that the, this uh, organization, they should be able to create 
a, a research data which will transform, to inform society, transform education. You don't wait until the education system is transformed. It's us who should be define that. So I don't want you to go be looking outside the country, country, Nigeria, or from local, national to international. Then you can reflect back and and then put the, the what you what you what you have done what you have collected in traction. So now this time I need you to have a pe pe pencil, a paper, pen and pencil, pe pen and paper, and uh, putting it together. Uh, and I'm gonna just we're gonna go about two three minutes. So write hard, but please don't do not change. Just save what you write down to this question. Go next slide, please. To these questions, and then. Uh, we will collect that, you send it to either a delegate, and then you, you use that as analysis as of, particip of participants' uh, worldview uh, as, as pertains to this process. And then we start generating data and designing questionnaires or however you do focus group or whatever, use this as a data. So don't take it serious. Don't just write whatever you think. You can't, yes, you have to be consciously uh, developed from your from your core thinking, and the first thing is the, the the very right right answer. Even when you do psychometrics, multiple choice, the always answer is always there. But you, we we are taught to trying to guess. This is not guessing. I need you to to think hard. So Paulo Freire uh, came up with the uh, that several uh, a process methodology, which it transformed the whole Brazil. In South America, if you look at South America and, and you know, and Middle and Central America, they are the most uh, literate people, especially when it comes to understanding culture and how it shapes their 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 their, their, their economy and their identity. So very strong because then they use the same thing, African culture. So how do you operationalize that? You developed three level of, of coding. Uh, you are thinking, you are understanding, you experience. And uh, uh, now I want you to put the, the pandemic, the one year pandemic, two, almost 12 months of pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, and they look at reflecting on society from local to national to international. And it created three levels. Uh, and one level is uh, you write down uh, naming, the other one is reflecting, and the other one is acting. So the first naming you have to under that you, you you answer this question: What are the most humanizing problems in your life now, right now? That's one question. I, I respond to that. Take a second to write that. What is it? One or two? The most dehumanizing. Most. There's a key keyword. Dehumanizing, which relates to paralyzing the ability to. To, 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 to be human, to think about a human, or you, you, to treat other people in a humane way. What, are, what, are, what, what is one, one problem? The next one is, should things be as they are? Should that problem be as it as is? And uh, then next question is, how should it be? Or how should they be? And then you relate to this question to the problems in, in, in your life as a typo there. Uh, in your, in your, uh, problems you find, yeah, in your life, there's no type. Uh, or profession that are humanizing, especially education system, social justice, uh, government and schools and work and so forth, okay? And, and, and then, uh, let me g give you a little bit time to, to, to make sure that you write that, please. And then don't, don't filter. Write down what you think and save it because we're gonna share that to another time whereby you can look at it uh, maybe in a conclusion of the of the of the conference. Uh, the, 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 the delegate, you you can uh, do this analysis. Look at the those analysis and I'll show you the key how to interpret. The okay. 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 Uh, us to mute, okay. Okay, uh, then the next set of questions you have, you have answer you, uh, you have to give is, why are things this way under reflecting? Think about it. 
See, you're not being asked to ask someone else to think. You, you ask yourself, where are things this way which you, you name, you, uh, 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 the naming category? Then who is to blame? Okay? And then what is your role in the question or in the situation? And that's this problem. And please make sure that uh, uh, you, you write it legibly. So when you share other people, usually in a work, working in a working work, workshop, you, we pair people in teams. Uh, we could do breakouts, but we don't have time for breakouts in, today uh, in this presentation. We want to just give you the framework and uh, which you can continue and start collecting data and in any other, you know, uh, work workshops you do. And then that data you you analyze it and then you de design actions to to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. We will share you. Yeah, we will release we will release the PowerPoint to you. Okay, yeah, we'll do. Uh, uh, the next set of question is acting, what can be done about that problem? Write it down. And the next question, what should be done? And then the last one is, what have you done? This two prong question. Or will you do? See, it leaves no, no space for you to wander. Uh, what, you, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, uh, to think exhaustive, exhaustively. Because we, we, what, 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 and then, uh, and we'll share this PowerPoint, uh, Dr. Osler, with them. You send them immediately so they can, this is a good, it's a good tool. And, and we can even collect data from this analysis of this data to be shared in the next conference uh, as a result. And then uh, uh, also they can, you can go and du duplicate the, the discussions. And what, in and what we'll do is we'll flip it. The, the we'll university flip, it PDF and flip it out so you can and make it interactive and you can go in and, and do some good things with it. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the next, now uh, I think everybody has written, save that. But it, to conclude in this presentation, because we don't have time to uh, do analysis, I just want to give you a key, key uh, interpretive uh, interpretation uh, codes about uh, how how he uh, and this actually, by the way, uh, uh, Smith, who was who went to the Center for International Education, uh, where I went to UMass, he also did a dissertation whereby he he operationalized these coding. And they really uh, proved to proven to be a very valid and reliable way of analyzing uh, life experiences and also uh, trans. It, uh, they, they used to call it radical change, but that's where critical theory came up. The critical theory emerged from with from Paulo with Paulo Freire. So uh, next next slide, please. Thank you for see how interaction working when you work together. You just you just made it, you know, uh, using technology and dialogue. <laughs> it works. Do you want uh, um, you want to continue? You want to give them time to uh, interact uh, with you? I I, I just want to oh quick uh, uh, let, uh yes yes hide this for a sec. Okay. I, 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 go back to the the last to the question set. But then we we I I want to maybe we can get, have a, a, some questions. Someone can volunteer, uh, so we can see. Uh, can can we have a volunteer uh, someone to say to 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 tell us what they wrote down as the most humanizing problem in a, in your life night right now? Somebody and just answer. Read the read the all the three answers to your three questions. Yes. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. We uh, have a uh, raised uh, hand. Almost almost a Yeah. Almost a lot. to some. Uh, unmute yourself and speak. Amosala, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Amosala, raise your hand. You raise your hand. You're going to speak. Go ahead. Unmute yourself. 
I wonder whether do you want me to check do you want me to go ahead and take it off of uh off of sharing and uh so we can have a more interactive dialogue for a second and then we come back okay. here. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello, Omashola. Yes. Yes, what I have in the naming session. Mm -hmm. Poverty despite hard work. Mm. Okay. And and uh, what did wow. you write as a response to should things be as a, should be should the poverty should be there be poverty poverty? Yeah. What no. Do you say? No. no. Okay. How should it be? Better standard of living. Mm. Okay. All right. And, and, and now in a discussion, uh, you we will dis you will talk to other people about that and see whether that's the same thing they see. Do you see how important that is? Hey, let me let's let's go through you you keep going keep, going keep going this is good. What, what about what about the uh, reflecting? What did you write? Mismanagement of available resources. Mm. Okay. Okay. Getting to the heart of the problem. Yes, and who is to blame? Mm. Every member of the society Okay. Every how member do you, of the society. How do you contribute? How do you contribute to the to the situation, to poverty yourself? Making extra efforts, believing things will change. Mm. Ah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> The clueless model we talked about, yes, yes, good, okay, go, awesome. Now the next, the next, uh, next one, acting. What can be done about this situation? Here's Robert. the solution. A positive change. That, what did you say? Say that again. A positive change is positive needed. Change. Okay. okay. Now what should be done? Determination for a change. Okay. Done about it though so far. Walking towards a change. Okay. And how would you do now from now? You already in the how would how would you do for future? Being optimistic and walking towards a change. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You can mute yourself for a second, for a second. So the noise is gone. Now that's ex excellent. In a in a workshop situation, now the team share that, and some, some people are shy to coming up to share this personal information. So you do we divide into teams, not groups. Teams whereby everybody got it as a role and have to share. Then you collect all this as a data to analyze and they develop actionable uh, strategies to implement. If I may, you are, you, this is part of the. But the, 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 then go go to the. Uh, uh, if I if I may, Doc, and what yeah, I yeah. what I would say to in the conscientize cow process, when you begin yeah. to, as was done very effectively, address these questions, others yeah. will address them, and then you will begin to see the solution manifest itself. Yes. Then you yes. will be able to uh, operationalize the measurement and the psychometrics that go into that how yeah. you approach it from research, what resources are available, how you will go about doing that tangible solution to address right. that particular problem, such as in this case of poverty. Excellent. Yes. And it go, uh, the, the, then go to the, now it's the, the, the next slide. Okay. Uh, and this is a way uh, the Paulo Freire coded the categories of response to what is happening to the world, the, to, to, to individuals in society. Uh, he, he created it uh, one level, mag cause magical, where people respond to the level magical, uh, in a magical level. Then the next one is uh, 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 naive, and the last one is uh, critical. Uh, with, the, with this, the code you will be uh, checking. Now, from this, Code because we cannot go, I cannot explain all the, you need to have in a, a longer time to talk about that. And then now people can change what they say or, or re rename it or and conceptualize different. The, the one level, if you are a magical thinker, of course, problem denial is a key. Which is of what they say, I don't see like, um, poverty. 
I don't see, uh, uh, they, they avoid the problem because they are, they are eating, they plant flying jets, they, they, they are stealing money from the society for the children, for the education, but they, and they are benefiting from the, the cream of the crop. And then they don't see, they don't want to disturb that. They, but they are living on survival mode, they are hoping. Things, you don't hope society will change. You do something to change, change the poverty, okay? Then the, the one that the B is very important. And uh, the, you are, if I can you know, make an assessment, you, you, as long as you say, you say there's someone to blame, the Paulo Freire quoted that is still either between magical and naive, depending on how, so it's not, you, you don't blame anybody for what is happening. You look at things as they are, and that's why it's very important uh, to have the, thank you for the time, that it's very important to have uh, a, a discussion, and then you analyze the, the responses people are producing and see whether they can reframe the experience because they might think blame is the right answer. That, that, that's key. Number one key code, code, anyone who blames even their forefathers or parents or system or other, uh, be, there's, there's, there's a, uh, not, is, they're not in a critical level, okay? And, but magical, however, it, it, when you go to see, when they are in acting, they, they respond to fatalism. And I wanna, challenge my brothers, sisters in Nigeria. There's something which bothers me, and I mentioned it that in another conference, but people didn't understand. What, how, what ex explanation can you give about having government and a society, because society, yeah, they are the government, allowing a group of people like Boko Haram and the others, or, or the higher upper class to terrorize humanize the whole society and is the most rich richest country in the in the continent actually to the compared to the world it is now how do you explain that that's where when you start thinking uh, exchanging and, and the, translating to the local language the dialectical like dialectics of locals they can understand that's how Paulo Freire was able to engage peasants and they did not rise to overthrow the the uh, uh, what you call it, uh, aristocrats and autocrats and, and the, the, the middle class and the upper class, they just transform themselves. So right now, if you start talking to youth, they need jobs. Jobs uh, avoid, I mean, uh, so, so solve the po poverty issue. No one in our continent of Africa should go to bed hungry. No child should go to bed hungry. When you have a free son, Free land, free soil, water, and and all, all you have to do is uh, see how you are constricted by magical thinkers who think they are fatalistic thinkers, but they are presenting as if they are teaching you something. But then they they eliminate you. It's it's like IQ test was developed to eliminate people, but we use it as a measure of intel, inter, intelligence, which is then right. measure that and the psychometrics is clear. Mm. Go go next. Yeah. It, so the fatalistic thinkers is a magical category. And it, but, but it's just the way people are thinking. So you cannot say, well, it's bad. So I, you cannot avoid it if you live it. The naive is the, the most popular with the professors, educators, government officials, politicians, uh, whereby they, they respond to, uh, they deviate from ideal expectations. The creating the policies, good, well created policies, but they deviate from from uh, 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 the uh, uh, making ideal situation. They that, so they continue meeting the oppressors. So, so they double down on oppression. So post colonialism has been worse than we were in colonial time. I hope you I hope you discuss that and understand how individuals oppress uh, oppressor violates others. You don't look at your government as an oppressor, but you accept it. But the next one, next one, I just want to, we, because time, we've got 10 minutes, I want us to interact a little bit. Uh, the, uh, just now, the, however, the critical consciousness is the most important to me. When you name as a, what is the problem, the problem, you 
uh, you, you, you think about rejection, rejection of the oppressor groups. We talked about racism, how it's impacted the whole world being pandemic. And so you have to eradicate, start with eradication of racism. And the, because racism is a social constructed uh, identity. To, to, uh, now, I, I ethnic identity, you need to deconstruct the uh, 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 negative ethnicity and affirm who you are and because how you are related in family to clans, to lineages, to community, that's what's important. And when you come together as one, oneness, you don't have poverty. No, no one will go to, you know, home, uh, home hungry or say, uh, go, go to bed hungry. You reject oppressors, group, oppressing capacity of anything, government, police, uh, brutality and all that. Is you seek to maintain positive ethnicity. You seek to affirm uniqueness. You are unique, even if you're born twins, you're not the same. You, then you think about transforming a uh, system uh, with procedures, pr people, you develop those strategies which are affirming and they reject op op oppression, oppression system. So, and start understand. So when you double down to the to, to the last one, you start you start you see system as cause, and you see contradictions between rhetoric and the results. Micro social social economics. So you don't blame anybody, but you engage. If it's you you vote, you vote for people and tell them, look, we voted because we want you to go change the society for better, bring jobs, and don't just get promises. Education, you don't just get a diploma. A certificate you cannot which does not give you a job or anything. So I want to stop there because the process there will send you the letter slide that's self-explanatory, and you can turn these into questions, to, and the, in a in a research survey, and they collect data and, an, uh, and analyze it, and then uh, bring the people together next time. They, actually, you can kick off uh, the next conference. Uh, with these results of this analysis, if you do more of these and the different communities, different uh, institutions, and then you can analyze the problems of Nigeria education system, you focus on that or, or uh, however you use, but this is a systemic change because it's not possible to change the way we have changed, we have been dealing with education, the way it's designed. It's not possible to change. So. Doc, change you why don't you go ahead and take over the session? Game. You go ahead and take over the session now so they can yeah. see. You. Yeah. And take host privileges for me and you can continue the dialogue. Well, I, it's, it's okay. We still have this. No, uh, your image is not coming up. I can see their uh, screen. So oh, uh, you oh. take over the host again. Oh, okay. 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 Host, host, host. Go. Uh, Mo, uh, uh, ask to start with you. Withdraw co host. Okay. Is that good? That's good. Okay. All right. Uh, delicate. This is the time to ask any questions, to, to exchange a little bit. I know we have a very few minutes left. Uh, but let's, let's reflect on what, what is take away from this discussion. And it's mostly, I, as we say, not to blame anybody or blame time, but what is it you took away from this session presentation and what can we, how can we improve it? Anyone? Response, please. Oh. Go ahead, anyone. Just unmute, unmute yourself and speak. I'm trying to see. Can I unmute? Uh, how do I Thank unmute you. everybody? Thank you very much, Prof. Hello. Okay. Um, our Vice President in person of Dr. Abodinwa, we give the wrap up and call people that may want to ask their questions. Okay. Good. The Vice President. Okay. Dr. Thank Abodinwa, you. Abodinwa, Abodinwa. Uh oh. Yeah, the, uh, I think that the, you have your two things open. That's why it messes up the audio. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, good. Yeah, hello. 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 
Yeah, hello. We can hear you. We can hear you. Thank okay. you. Um, um, I am I am very grateful for your presentation. I, you have in fact enlightened us to know that we always have problem around us all the time. And we cannot solve it by keeping quiet. We have to solve it doing something positive in order to uh, bring up a change in our environment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we keep thank quiet, you. the problem will continue and it will last forever. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Anyone else? Anyone else see how you're gonna use this information? Somebody, come on, jump on. This is where dialogue is critical. You have to participate. Yes. Oh, that one can be question. Talk about the wildland. You just thank her. Thank him. Oh, you don't face the any good. Okay. Well, times are ticking. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Professor Osla and Professor Mutisa. Thank you very much for the lecture. And um, we will reflect on all those questions. And probably yes. by the next by the next forum, we'll be able to come up with a survey. Yes. Yes. Uh, hey. We'll be able to come up with a survey. Yes. But we don't even know now if people have questions, other questions okay. to ask. Yes. OK. And somebody Please raise up your hand or you put it in the chat. OK, thank you. And then we'll save it. Then we'll send it back to you. So you can okay. come back. Look back again. That's a great comment. Do you see that? Uh, yes. Uh, please, I, I sent my uh, email address to you. Oh, thank I would you. like to have a of this your presentation so that it will help us internalize what you have presented. Thank Correct. you very much. Yeah, Osla, no. Osla, 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 get the chat. The, Prof. His email chat. Prof, yes. you, know you, said, yeah. you will send the slide. We will send it, uh, the whole presentation to Joshua, delegate, and he can share. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. And also okay. record it so you have it to match. Yes. Do you see what Dr. Olamakimi said? He said, mm -hmm. also, we cannot use European mindsets to create the African mindsets. You got it. You got it. <laughs> it and by, by the way, by the way, I've authored, uh, we had developed a research on Afri Afrocentricity or African-centered thinking, which we can now, it's now time to start uh, collecting data because it was done from a uh, uh, US perspective. Right. So, but, we am yet to see professors, researchers uh, engaging in a, uh, conducting research to, to show the transformation and the change and impact of culture and identity. And I'm proposing, which I'm going to send to you, to write a book and uh, or engage in a process whereby we can show how Africa is the diaspora. So, uh, and which and, and brings African, uh, brings African and African American together, and how we impact the world, yes. and because and, yes. and how we impugn it. Yes. yes, and I posit that the African mindset of yes. our people is the solution to yes. all of this foolishness that is going on. And so, if the world wasn't listening before, during this time of the pandemic, they're listening yes. now because yes. they're seeing the systems fall apart yeah and they need us now more than ever a good example also that's you reminded me of see that's dialogue is important because it it, it provokes thinking and engaging you okay. now why don't we have a, a learning management uh, uh, system like blackboard or or a uh, open source in africa per se that's not because of white people it's not because of color, color european people mindset it's because of our mindset we impugn access to in the internet. That's the global world window today. And why is it we spend money? We, you can find a, a best alcohol, beer, the, but you cannot even find clean water. You cannot find a school connected. So 
kids can go 24 seven, they can learn and co-kid what they're doing uh, and then become better inventors or better scientists. I've, now I wanna propose the, the theme to have stream as the way to frame the, 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 our research. Stream stands for literacy in science, scientific process, the way it's done from a Afri for Afri African, cent African centered perspective, which reflects Africa, not European mindset. Then uh, reading, which involves literacy, reading for understanding comprehension. Paulo Freire calls reading, critical reading as a, as a political act, reading. They look at the, our former literature, literature uh, they were really literally people means you critique the society and but you you also create framework to improve who we are not to ex, not ex exclude uh, then we have a uh, engineering designing research is an engineering process also here is the is 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 is, 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 is a discipline is te education technology whereby we design, we, we solve problems, not, not just to, to, to have fancy things to talk about. Then we have a, 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 the arts. How do you transform the art and animate it to speak the imagery, the symbols, and which enhances who we are? And the, inter, and the become, actually it's the entrepreneurial side of it, we don't even do because the wood carvings we are doing, we can do 3D printing and then we can duplicate those since we don't have the ebony trees or trees we can carve. Now we can do the 3D molding and to create a better lasting symbols of culture, which can, we can which reminds me of, of, of Wakanda movie, <laughs> that, that metal, <laughs> although it was literature, but there is a similar the technology today, which will preserve our culture. And then we have a, a, a mathematics. Ma it's, uh, the people as, 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 as assign STEM mathematics part is as abstract or big. No, it's how do you measure what you're experiencing, and they frame it and apply to the generalize to the rest of the world to improve, not to prove. And that the distinction between assessment and evaluation is so important. So I, I don't want to uh, science, too much. technology, reading. Engineering, yeah. art, mathematics. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Any more? Anyone else? Got any comment? Oh yeah. 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 Question. All right. As I said, you have to set it all. So we need to change our mindset. Most of which. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes. yes. Thank you, Professor. Thank Islam. you very Thank much. You. Okay. Yes, thank you. Also, thank you. also, also, I want to challenge my brothers. You are listening. I'm 70 year old. I, although I'm not married in Africa, but I'm married here. I want to explain the way we treat our sisters in terms of as equal or uh, equity. You need to reframe that. This is a good. This is a good. It's a good way to assess that. Take that survey. Uh, you find a sister who's a professor like you or even senior, but we don't, we impugn their role. They politicians who never went to school, we give them power to suppress. So economic po poverty, economic education, it's actually creates a, economic, uh, economic uh, poverty in education, it's, it's, it's engineered to do that. So it, you guys, this group of people can change the whole world. Because you can have a one acre to feed the whole Nigeria if you put together your thinking ahead and not uh, use the European mindset, which is a reductive uh, process, which alienates people as opposed to brings people together. So you have to go in the core, use the hands you're given, use the head. Computer is the head, not the machine. So what we put in is we'll get out. So I, I challenge everybody everybody to start thinking about gender and not to look at the European model that is a, when you look go back to that slide of uh, uh, the philosophical cultural differences I did not emphasize that European mi mindset the man is a subject the woman is object so and in, in, in when we translate it here now black people become part of an object 
male, female, as opposed, but white man is this, the, the sub, and we treat them that way. We perpetuate that way in our education system. Value what Muzungu is in Swahili, Muzungu, white man says, but it's not his fault. You accept that premise, framework, it's up to it's you as an educated person, you could search solutions within the people and that say, okay, this is who we are and we are not gonna compromise and then stop which anything from outside. Remember we talked about dialogue inside and outsiders. This is where critical thinking, uh, consciousness uh, uh, becomes very critical and vital. Critical, which is essential to keep for future sustainability of our future. The, the continent of Africa is gonna be the next 30 years, it's gonna be the bread, the center of the world economy. And, if you don't know that, then we have a problem with what you went to school for. You need the uh, kids from kindergarten to understand that so they can stop preserving. They can environment, they can clean with the, the clean water, the health, the majority of COVID issue impacts people who are communicating. Thank you, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna Thank hear you what you Yes. Thank yes. you, sir. Good, excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank, oh, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. We'll send you thank the you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll talk later. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. All right. Karibu. Yes, sir. All right, bye-bye. What's up?